What is going on guys, my name is Elite, this is my new FIFA channel, every single video uploaded to this channel will be FIFA related. Today I'm going to be bringing you a new bidding method that can make you tons of coins really quickly, but that does have a big impact on the market which we mentioned in the last episode, we're witnessing it right now. How to trade with some of the gold cards that are going to get ones to watch is you know, how you can capitalize on that, when you should buy, when you should sell. And Sander Arnold for 30,000 coins and just in the next day he's already 37,000 coins, which and I've got 19 of his cards. What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on my channel and a very, very special video. This is the first episode of Trading to Glory, the long awaited series every single year. It's my best performing video series and I am so excited to get started with you guys today. Today is going to be how to start your FIFA 21 club from the beginning. As you can see, I've already made some progress. I'm gonna be explaining to you everything I've done already, including what you guys need to do to get off the ground at the beginning of the year. Now, you might be confused because I did name the OTW Trading Guide episode one of Trading to Glory, but in retrospect, that didn't make any sense. We're gonna call that episode zero. This is episode one, because this is the first time we're actually logging on to the game and getting started. So. When you log on, the first thing it's actually going to ask you is what country you want to choose. And you're going to choose one of these two nations. Your choices that make sense are England or Argentina, okay? Argentina, because that's gonna help you with one of the advanced SBCs if you end up getting one of the non-rare golds that are used in that SBC. Once we actually do the advanced SBC cheapest solutions for you guys on YouTube, you'll completely understand what I'm talking about, but you do have to get lucky with that. The second option is to go with England. England is good because there's different tiers in leagues. So when you do end up going to squad uh, building challenges, you'll actually have a head start to do one of the League and Nation uh, hybrid or League and Nation basics, which is the one nation midfield. So you'll have one uh, region, which is England, right? One nationality, and then leagues exactly five. So since there's four different English leagues in the game, you can go with an English, you know, Premier League player. You can go with a Champions player, uh, Championship player. You can go with a League One player and a League Two player. That's already four of the five. All you got to do is find one more English player that's not in one of those leagues, and you're done. So that makes that SBC pretty easy. When it comes to Argentina, it's actually going to be, I believe it's in hybrid leagues. I believe it's this one, first 11, where you need 11 leagues and you need it to be exactly gold, rare players eight, exactly uh, team chemistry 100. I've actually put together um, sort of a solution for this one with Argentina already. So if you end up getting one of those non-rare Argentinians that kind of work for this SBC, then you automatically get the loyalty up from 99 to 100 and you complete the squad building challenge pretty simply. So that is why Argentina and England are the first step for you guys when you join into the club. Guys, if you're excited for this series, help me out and help this series out by dropping a like on the video and commenting down below just to help the engagement of the video. I would really, really appreciate that, guys. Nonetheless, you might be asking, if it's a Trading to Glory, why are you playing games on the account? Well, Trading to Glory doesn't mean necessarily that we don't play games. It just means that the focus of the series is on trading. That's where most of the coins are going to come from. But if I see an opportunity to make coins off of gameplay, to where the time that I spend playing the game is actually worth playing instead of trading, I'm gonna take that opportunity. And right now, I actually have access to the transfer market early. You can see there's only 437 live transfers on the market. EA, thanks to EA Game Changer program, which I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, actually hooked me up with the game a little bit early, which gives me a head start for sure. And I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. That doesn't mean I wanna get ahead of you guys to where you fall behind already and I'm already making all these coins, right? And you guys are still starting at zero on Wednesday. 
and I don't want you guys to fall behind. I want to go through every single step with you to get off the ground because the hardest part of the year, it, it, it's every year, the hardest part of the year is starting off on the web app and starting off on those 10 hours of EA access and working your way up from zero coins. I mean, it's so tempting sometimes to give up and buy FIFA points. But I'm going to show you some ways around it, guys. There are some objectives that you can do to get some packs in return. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get any welcome back packs, any loyalty packs, any FUT20 uh, objective packs that went to FUT21. I got nothing at the beginning of this FIFA because this is a brand new account that I just started because I switched from Xbox One to PlayStation 4. But for you guys, most of you guys are going to get that head start that I didn't end up getting. So where I got a head start, which don't get me wrong, is a much better and more valuable head start to where I get to start playing this game a little earlier, you'll still get a head start I didn't get, which is going to help you get off the ground and get some, uh, some leverage in your club, get some value in your club. So the first thing you're going to look at is in foundations. There's a ton of different things that you can actually do that don't even require you to get into the game and play a match. Chemistry, green link. All you gotta do is get green links. All you gotta do is get a perfect link, three perfect links, and boom, you've got a couple hundred coins. Just getting to a thousand coins is huge. Right here, positioning, basic chemistry. The squad battles uh, game mode, that one you're going to have to play a match. So you'll have to wait until the EA access to actually play this one, but all the other ones in here are doable just from the web app. So positioning, basic chemistry, that's a gold reward pack, another 150 coins, another 150 coins, another 150 coins, and a consumables pack, which isn't great. Don't get me wrong, not great. And as we said, the chemistry, and then chemistry advanced, all of these, once again, can do from the web app. Now, here's the thing. You do not get to use concept players in this. At least I tried it and it didn't seem to work. If you get it to work, you know, all the power to you, but it didn't work for me. What you can use is your loan cards that you get. So when you do get those loan cards, you'll have the choice between Jao Felix, Erling ha Haaland, Trent Alexander-Arnold. And then you're also gonna have another choice for five different ones that are completely random. So I don't know which choices you'll get, but think about the nation that you chose at the beginning. Did you choose Argentina or England? Go with somebody that links up there. That'll help you reach 100 chemistry a lot easier. That's why I chose Trent Alexander-Arnold. I threw him at right back. That's how I was able to get that 100 chemistry. Once you complete all four of these, you get a gold players pack, which is going to, again, help build that value of your club, starting to get some coins. Of course, you get another 150 coins just for reaching an 85 chemistry. But getting players into your club is huge. And then also, sometimes these gold player packs will give out something decent for you. Um, training SBC, 150 coins. All you got to do is go to the squad building challenge tile, complete let's get started. That one is super, super easy. Next one is a little bit more difficult. You do get a gold pack, three common gold players for, uh, for the training SBC too. Complete it as soon as you can. Now for me, I'm waiting until everybody gets the web app because currently there's not really very many bronze or silver cards on the market for me to buy for cheap and actually do these SBCs because I did choose England as my nation and I've got three of the five players, but I can't really go out and buy the other two players yet because as you saw, there's only 400 transfers and what are the odds that one of those is the exact left mid from bronze English player from an off league that I need? It's not on the market. And if it is, it's 10,000 coins right now. So I can't really trade yet uh, or buy those players for squad building challenges, which is why I'm waiting till the day that this video comes out, which is Wednesday morning, just a few hours before the web app is actually released for you guys. So those are different ways you can get off the ground and get to a thousand to 2000 coins on top of the fact that you'll get some players to go into your uh, uh, club, but maybe even in to your squad as well. If you take a look at my squad, I actually packed two players pretty decent for my team. Jao Felix was actually in my first pack from those, uh, it was a, I believe one of those gold player packs. I ended up getting Jao Felix and then the very next pack, I ended up getting Thomas Lamar. So that strong link was just super convenient and lucky. Don't get me wrong, it was super convenient and lucky, but you guys will probably end up getting something along the lines of an 80 to 83 rated card to start with in at least one of those packs. 
As you can see, you're also going to get some loan cards. I chose Ericsson, Aubameyang, and Trent Alexander-Arnold in my three choices. And I believe actually Ericsson wasn't a choice. That one was just straight out of, um, just a straight up, I got Ericsson. I didn't really get to choose him, but it's fine. I take him off the bench. And Aubameyang, um, I only got one game left. Alexander-Arnold, I still got nine games left. So we're chilling on that. I actually packed Kostic in one of the packs as well. And then we've got Mike uh, Manan, Manyan. Not sure how to pronounce that name. Anyways, we've got some players in the club and we've got some more gold guys that I'm just waiting to use on other SBCs because I'm not ready to do those squad building challenges quite yet, but building the club to get ready for it. I mean, this guy like Rosier, this guy like Rosier right here, he's solid. I mean, he is a solid shout for a uh, squad building challenge card because he's French, he's a right back, and he's from a league that not very many French players play in right, which is the, the Portuguese league. So if we go back to those advanced SBCs, let's go ahead and talk about a quick trading tip. Um, and it's gonna be our first big trading tip for the trading to glory, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to play, and then we're gonna go over to uh, squad building challenges again. And in the advanced SBCs, there's always gonna be demand because these are some of the better SBCs that we even get throughout the year. And they're out at the beginning of the year, so everybody wants to do them. It's either in nations or leagues. I believe it's still the leagues one, right? So in hybrid leagues, we already looked at this SBC. And you've got to think about some of the nations that you can do this SBC from. Previous years, Argentina's worked. And then France has worked and Brazil has worked. And realistically, those are the three nations that everybody went with, okay? Likely, people are going to be doing the exact same thing. Now, I went through France. It's pretty difficult to build a squad with France and still get eight rare players in this. I think you definitely want to go with Argentina to keep it a little bit cheap. Now, the thing about that is, if there's only one or two nations that you can go with and everybody's doing the SBC, everybody's going to be using the exact same cards because there's not that many different formulas to even complete these squad building challenges, especially at this point in the year. As we go throughout the year, more cards enter the game, it becomes a little easier to do the squad building challenges and a little bit cheaper. But still, there's not that many formulas you can actually use to complete. So if everybody's using the same formulas, then it's going to get difficult. So a left back like Batolo, he is from the uh, Argentinian league. So he might not go up a ton. And some sometimes, you know, maybe the uh, Sudamericano guy, he might not go up uh, a ton either. But really... All of these guys, especially I think Senesi right here from Feyenoord, that card could go up a ton just because he's 77 rated. And if everybody's opening packs that are like rare packs, especially on like weekend league rewards, division rival rewards, a lot of those are just rare packs. You're not going to see any non-rares pop out of that. You're going to have to wait till Sunday nights to try to pick those up off squad battle rewards. And throughout the week, they're going to inflate. A lot of the times, 77 rated cards that have terrible stats they can be above 5,000 coins consistently just because of the fact that they're used in an SBC like this. So you take a look at the cards like this. You've got the likes of Jonathan Silva, uh, Rosier we already talked about, Sebastian Corchia, and Malkiewicz. I think Malkiewicz going to be a good one. The right back, and he's from Napoli, and he's rare. Uh, Florent Hanin. We'll take a look at these guys and give you a visual as well because I wrote them down on one of my subscriber trading guides. Um, Hanin. This could be a shout. He's not on the market right now, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the player in uh, concept cards just so we can see the card. But he's a left back, and he's from the French League uh, 2. He's from the French League 2, not the French League 1. So it is uh, technically an off league, I guess you could say. And he's one of the only gold cards from the uh, second French League as well, on top of the fact that he's left back. So he's definitely, if people are able to do France for this SBC, Hanin's going to be off the charts expensive. Like... If France is one of the nations that is usable, and I think it might be, but I think it's not going to be the best nation. I think it'll still be usable, though. Hanin will be super expensive. So that's the idea behind this trading method. So get in, figure out these solutions early, all right? Figure out which cards there aren't that many options for in those positions, and then invest in those cards. So Hanin's a good one. Um, Valbuena and Nkudu at left mid is a good one. Um, Alessandrini, Caramo, Folkier, a couple more French guys. Um, but it doesn't have to always be French. Like, uh, if you take a look at some of the guys from Argentina, Emiliano Buendia. Buendia's a right mid this year. And there's not too many options over there. He's from the second league in England. 
So that's pretty specific. Now, for this squad, I went with a rare card there so that we could go with non-rares elsewhere, like here. But, it's still possible that if you go with another rare card at center back, you can go with a non-rare at right mid, and it could be Buendia. So, you think about those cards that don't have too many options, and you invest in those. So, I thought I'd go through that. Um, and and before, we, before we move on, one more card that I wanted to mention. Um, Areola, goalkeeper from... Uh, now in the Premier League, actually. Uh, so he'll be French and rare as well. We've got this guy, Musso. He's not too high rated. He's also rare, Serie A. There are a lot of options, Argentinian and Serie A. But I think you guys get the point in terms of that investment method. Another thing you guys can take to your advantage this year is the fact that the transfer market actually has the spe uh, specifications on what you guys actually can choose for quality. So if you guys want a special quality, you can search that now specifically. So gold team of the week, you can do that as team of the week drops at 6 p.m. UK today. Um, and if you get on the web app before that, invest in cards that are going to possibly get into that team of the week because their gold cards possibly exist right now uh, but are very, very rare because there's not that many people on the game yet, but they exist. And if you cut the supply off at the same time that everybody's getting on the game, there's really not going to be any supply at all, but the demand will still be there for the next week. So those cards, those guys are going to skyrocket in price. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the team of the week possibilities. You've got the likes of Alessandrini, actually, which Alessandrini... Um, being one of the guys that uh, could possibly also double as the SBC. Could be a good investment for multiple reasons. Only problem is there's only one on the market right now. So you're going to have to wait for that to drop before you can even invest in it to rise. If they never drop, and if you guys don't get on the web app before 6pm UK, I can't imagine that those investments are going to work out. There's just not enough cards on the market to make an investment in that, unless you get lucky and find a card on the market just like by an off chance, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so you'll have to get lucky and, and try to get on the web app before 6pm UK to actually make that work, but... If that doesn't happen, don't worry about Team of the Week investing for Week 1. We'll, we'll go ahead and focus on that for Week 2 instead, because I think it'll work a lot better then anyway. So I mentioned that opportunity cost earlier, where if you have time, and you think that that time can actually be rewarded through gameplay, spend that time on gameplay. Especially if you make a lot of investments, you list all the investments on the market, and you don't have much coins left over, Go ahead and get on EA Play, all right? Use those 10 hours strictly on gameplay because you only get 10 hours and you can trade from the web app. So you can just go on the web app and trade and make investments there and do all of that stuff from the web app. But once EA Play comes out on Thursday, which will probably be at like 4 p.m. UK, something along those lines, I'm not exactly sure of the exact hour that everything's going to come out. Uh, so just stay updated on Twitter. I'll definitely announce it when it comes out. But... If you guys think you can get online and play some games and it'll be worth your time, do it. Get involved in some squad battles. Even if you don't get top 200 rewards, you're still going to get maybe gold and that's going to get you off the ground because Sunday, not only are we going to make coins from squad battle reward bidding, but we can just make profit from the squad battle reward themselves and actually get some good rewards from that. On top of that, you can complete some other objectives like play matches, and then you also got the squad battle, score in 10, stuff like that. A lot of stuff in foundations that you can complete. As you can see, uh, where is that at? Single player, play a featured squad, win a squad battle, play five battles. You can get all of that done within 10 hours, no problem. You could even maybe play a friendly match with a, uh, a friend or just play it online. Um, again, once you play one squad battle match, you'll complete this, which will give you a silver pack and one XP. I guess, you know, every XP counts, right? So go ahead and get involved in that and just get as uh, far as you possibly can in terms of the squad battles because those rewards on Sunday could be vital to shooting us from 20,000 coins or 50,000 coins or 100K, wherever you're at and doubling or tripling it on that, that Sunday because I think it's very, very possible to do so. 
Um, as you guys can see, we're 14 and 0 and 0 on the Trading to Glory. 13 of those games were squad battle matches. One of them was a game against another EA game changer, Cali SCG, if you guys know him. Um, we actually somehow pulled out the dub in that game against a very good player. I was pretty surprised with myself. Um, but we actually got some uh, some progress in that. And right now, I, I ended the night um, just ahead of Mason Greenwood in the top 200 right now. So we're in 10th. We, uh, we knocked Mason Greenwood out of the top 10. And yes, the real Mason Greenwood. Um, Jao Felix is actually like 150th on this list as well. Um, right now, A9 skills is, is first. We got Nepenthes in fourth. In terms of uh, content creators, I think I'm third place in terms of content creators between uh, behind a9 skills and nepenthes but i do plan on getting as many of these games done as possible because if i'm able to go ahead and grab some of the good ranks um i'll definitely do so um because an ultimate pack rare player pack eighty-seven thousand coins i mean that is insane but even if you guys play like just a thirty thousand points like i i spent definitely less than 10 hours on this all right Definitely less than 10 hours. Honestly, you could probably play, like, if you grinded, you could play 30 games in 10 hours. And that'll get you at least Elite, all right? Which is a Mega Pack 2 Premium Gold Players 12K. You might even be able to get Elite 1 in 10 hours if you grinded it. Now, the only problem with that is I do consider, I think you should consider placing for Division Rivals. Because if you place well in Division Rivals, you get the rewards for Div 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever you up until whatever division you placed for. So if you got division three, you get 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four. All of those rewards, whether it's like 2K for div 10 or 4K for div nine or 10K for div five, I don't know what the exact amount is, but I think I saw somebody qualify earlier and get div three and they got like 80,000 coins just uh, from all of those um, coin rewards from the previous division. So if you hit Division 2, let's say you get 25,000 coins for doing it, and you go back to Division 3, and you come back to Division 2, you don't get those coins again. It's one time. But that one time, if you qualify for Division 5 right away, you get that one time for 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6 at the same time. That's a good boost. And I think people are going to have a lot more buying power a lot quicker, which means that you guys need to get in, get the buying power First, make the investments. Those cards are going to go up a lot quicker than they have in previous years because of all the buying power and how easy it's gonna be for you guys to make coins that quickly, all right? And hopefully, during this 23 minute video or something along those lines, you have at least seen the light in how possible it is to get off the ground and get some coins without buying